Hello viewers, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to search, insert, and delete elements in an unsorted array. We have an unsorted array of n items. First, we will look at how to search a given element. Let the given element be 24. Let's look at the algorithm. We would perform a linear traversal from first element to the last element of the array. If we find key that is the given element in this traversal, then we will return its index. Else we will return minus 1 that is the key doesn't exist in the given array. This code is for finding the given element in the unsorted array. We take array, length of array and the given key as input. We have a loop that would traverse from first element to the last element. Our current element is this. If the current element is equal to the key, then we will return its index, else we will return minus 1. I will show you an example to make it more clear. This is the given array and key is equal to 24. We will start our loop. When i is equal to 0, that is, we are on the first element of our array, therefore current element is 25. Is this element equals to key? No. So, we will continue our loop. Now, we will, we will add 1 to i. Now, i is equal to 1. Therefore, our current element is 65. But still, it is not equal to key. Therefore, we will continue the loop. Now, the current element is 6. Again, we will continue. When i is equal to 3, the current element is 24, which is equal to our key. Therefore, we will break our loop and return the index, that is, the value of i. The time complexity will be big of n, because we are traversing through the array only once, even in the worst case. Now, we will see how to insert a given element in an unsorted array. Let the given element, that is, key, in this case be 11. The algorithm is very simple. In an unsorted array, the insert operation is faster, as compared to sorted array because we don't have to care about the position at which the element is to be stored. In this case, we will insert in the last of the array. This is the code for inserting the given element in the unsorted array. We take array, length of array, the given key and capacity as input. Capacity is maximum elements an array can store. If we try to store more element, then we will get out of bounds error. In the first case, if length of array is greater than or equal to capacity, then we would return n. This means that we can't store more elements in the array. Else we will store the given key in the nth position, that is, in the last of array. We will return the new length. This is the example. We want to insert 11 in the array. We will just take 11 and put it in the last. In this case, we have assumed that array has capacity to store new elements. Now our array will be this. It will take a constant time that is big O of 1. Big O of 1 means that no matter how much data is there in the array, it will execute in constant time. Now we will see how to delete a given element in an unsorted array. Let the given element, that is key in this case, be 86. In delete operation, the element to be deleted is searched using the linear search and then delete operation is performed followed by shifting the elements. Let's look at the example. We have to delete 86 from the array. First, we will find 86 using linear search. Now, we will just delete it. We have an empty space in our array. We will shift the adjacent element to this empty place. As we have shifted 34, now there is an empty place at its position. We will repeat the procedure, that is, shift the next element to the empty place. We will keep on shifting elements to the left like this. So, at last, we will be left with this array. 
Let's look at the code. We will take array, length of array and key as input. We will find the key using linear search. We will call find element function. It is the same function which we used in our first case where we had to search an element in the array. This function will return the index of the key if it exists, else it will return minus 1. If the function returns minus 1, then we will simply print element not found. Else, we will start a for loop starting from the position of key to the second last element of the array. In this step, we are shifting all elements to the left. At last, we will return n minus 1, that is the new length of the array. We now, uh, we know that the time complexity of linear search is big O of n. For shifting the elements, even at worst case, it will take O n time. Therefore, the final complexity for deleting an element is big O of n. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments.